Amen. We must be excited because we need to have an expectation of what God is doing. And uh, I know I'm feeling shifts. I know you're feeling shifts in the spirit. I, if you're a human being and a spirit being like I am, then you are probably experiencing uh, some tremors of the Holy Ghost, some movement, some things in the spirit realm. Amen. So I want to uh, divulge and converse into these things today. God bless you. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim. Let me know where you are watching from. I see some wonderful, faithful friends logging in. I want to say I've missed you. I haven't done a Facebook Live for about a week. Uh, but I want to say Happy New Year. Lashana Tova. It is officially 5783. It's officially 5783, and uh, literally this week, uh, and even more so, and I'm going to get into this in a little bit, but this week and more so, I feel like the Lord has just taken us deeper into the place of prayer, amen? Uh, cutting out the fat, cutting out the distractions. Uh, I destroy every distracting spirit now in Jesus' name, but I sense the Lord is is moving with such monumental grace and such monumental uh, power that there is an open invitation for his people, for you and I, for you, amen, uh, to go deeper into the things of God, amen. So I'm excited to get into this word because uh, as I prepared in the spirit, as I prepared in prayer, the Lord has ministered to me, hallelujah, and uh, I'm ready to uh, to release this word to you, amen, because it's a family occasion. It is a family convocation. Praise God. Well, I am excited and I feel the power of God uh, because I have been kind of resting for the last week, but resting, uh, enjoying, connecting. Uh, I've been having different meetings this week, so I feel good. Amen. So let me know where you're watching from so I could give you some shout outs and praise God. Uh, help us to break the 200 viewership number. I believe that this, amen, I believe that today's broadcast it can change somebody's life. Today's broadcast, today's word, this prophetic word that I'm going to release today and give insight and give revelation into. Because I know many of you, you're probably feeling some weird pulling. You're feeling a stretching. You are feeling a shift in your spirit, in your mind, right? Uh, well, also because, of course, it's the fall season. Now we're about to fall forward very soon. So everything's changing. So I want to speak into this and give you clarity and definition as a man of God. And I want to reveal what is God doing in the background? What is God doing behind the scenes? Because that is the duty of a prophetic voice. Amen. So go ahead, share this on your wall. Tag somebody. Because I believe that this word today is going to be a blessing to many people. Praise God. And I do want to uh, remind you uh, this coming Monday, look at that, this coming Monday, oh, I, I don't think, uh, yeah, anyways, this coming Monday, we have our Times and Seasons webinar. All right, Monday evening, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard, we have our Times and Seasons webinar. It's going to be powerful. I want to talk to you about patterns and cycles and how to start a new cycle in your life, how to start a new pattern, how to disrupt the pattern. And not only that, but God moves and operates in patterns and cycles. So I wanna to talk to you about that. So go ahead and join us uh, Monday evening, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard. And of course, even this coming Monday, we're doing a prophetic convergence. Well, myself and Prophet Leon Dupree from South Africa and Prophet Charlie Shamp, amen. The prophets are coming together and there is a prophetic convergence. If you believe that, say amen. So it's a prophetic convergence, praise God. So let me know where you are watching from. Help me to break the 200 number, amen. We are in the new year. Like I said, Lashana Tova, happy new year, Hak Sameach, amen, my goodness. We are in the new Hebrew year 5783. And I believe everybody, especially if you've been following me and our ministry, and you've been plugged into this grace, amen? I believe, uh, you know, so many people, you feel a buzz of excitement and expectation. But who you know is that, yes, you can be excited and have an expectation, but it doesn't mean that there isn't warfare or it doesn't mean that there isn't unusual tremors or trembling of shifting and shaking amen but i want to talk to you because the lord said october will be off the charts hey there prophet leon good to see you my friend the man of god prophet leon is in the house i just shared his name and the man of god just jumped in love you my friend i'm almost tempted to just bring you right in amen prophet leon dupree is in the house 
Listen, y'all want to get ready for this Monday. We have prophetic convergence. Myself, Prophet Leon, and Prophet Charlie Shab. It's going to be wonderful. And in fact, last night, Prophet Leon, I was up in prayer. And I, I was reminded, I think two, three months ago, you and I we were talking. And uh, the Lord kept me up. And a prophetic angel visited me last night. And last night, I couldn't sleep. Because... And hear me now, whenever it's difficult for me to sleep, many times it's because I am in a transition. Okay, I want to tell you that. Many times whenever I have difficulty sleeping, it's because I'm in a transition. Something is shifting in the spirit and God keeps me awake to pray and he's re releasing downloads and visitations. So last night, I had an unusual vision last night and I'm going to get into that in a little bit. But uh, good to see you, my friend, Prophet Leon. I was thinking about you last night and uh, just praying. Amen. Praise God. What an honor. Everybody give us some hearts and likes and just honor the man of God, Prophet Leon, for just jumping in the broadcast. Uh, amen. But today I want to talk about the word of the Lord for this month of October because God said it's going to be off the charts. It's going to be off the Richter scales. It's going to break records and in a few minutes i'm going to go into this amen but help us to break the 200 mark like i said i believe today's prophetic word for this month shoo, of october this this word this broadcast it can and will change somebody's life if you are in agreement say amen give us some hearts and likes and share this on your wall praise god now like i said people of god lashana tova happy new year it is a new Hebrew year, 5783. And there is just so much movement, shifting that has taken place. And I'm excited to get into this word that God has shared with me, that God has given me to release over you. But the Lord said it's going to be an off the charts October. Off the charts October. My goodness. Amen. My goodness. Off the charts, October. Everyone just lift up your hands. I feel the Holy Ghost. Even as the man of God, Prophet Leon, just stepped into the room, he graced himself with his presence. And you know, he's my good friend. I love that man of God. Even as he graced himself in this broadcast, hear me now, lift up your hands. I believe the Spirit of the Lord is saying, get ready for a prophetic breakthrough. Get ready. For a prophetic breakout. Shikara, many of you have been waiting. You have been waiting. You've been, you've been waiting. You've been in the valley. You've been on the bottom of the mountain. But get ready for a prophetic breakthrough and a prophetic breakout. For the spirit, the power of God to break out in your life. Get ready for suddenlies. Says the Lord. Some say suddenlies. Get ready for suddenlies. And that's what this season is about. I want to talk to you. That's what the season is about. This season is about suddenlies. Unusual suddenlies. Unusual suddenlies. Because there is an unusual realm that's opened up in this month of October. Someone say unusual realm. There is an unusual realm of suddenlies, miracles, and even, hear me, and even sudden attacks of the devil. So there is an unusual realm that's been opened up over the month of October. And in this month of October, there's going to be unusual happenings, happenstances that's going to align you and set you up. Just like the hurricane came forth, Hurricane Fiona and then Hurricane Ian. Just like a hurricane, which is an unusual portal, an unusual whirlwind, there is an unusual realm that's been opened up in the spirit over the month of October. So I'm going to get into this. So if you're with me today, say amen and give us some hearts and likes. And I did see Grace, Jisoo, Kim, God bless you from Atlanta. I would love to visit Atlanta and do something soon again, Miss Grace. Some say hallelujah. But the Lord said October is a month where it will be off the charts. Some say off the charts. And, and when something is off the charts... It means that it is breaking records. And I, I want I want you to I want you to catch this because the Lord showed me a number of things that's gonna take place in this month of October. 
And then we're going to go into the Hebrew, okay? Because this is the month of Tishrei. October in the Hebrew calendar is the month of Tishrei. Some will say Tishrei. T-I-S-H-R-E-I. -E Tishrei. But before I go into the prophetic points and the Hebraic revelation, the biblical Hebraic revelation of this month of October, I want to first go into what the Lord showed me for this month of October. Number one, the Lord said off the charts. What does that mean? Off the charts. Record breaking numbers. This month of October, you are going to experience record breaking numbers. Someone say amen. When something is off the charts, something breaks records, breaks statistics, breaks the norm. When something is off the charts, there's going to be breakthrough in numbers, in finances, in business. Come on, somebody. So the Lord said this month of October is going to be off the charts, off the charts. So I want to declare and decree that your life is going to be off the charts this month in October. I feel the Holy Ghost. My goodness. Number two, the Lord said, the second thing, the Lord said, as records are breaking, records are breaking, and, and even records financially, amen, records in the business realm, records in the stock market, in the market, records in government and politics, some say records. It's going to be record breaking. You're going to break records. And then the second thing that the Lord spoke to me is headlines. I don't know if y'all hear that. There, that's the uh, the air show here in Huntington Beach. My gonna sold out. Airplanes, different flights, planes are just flying over. I don't know if y'all heard that. It sounded like a sonic boom. But the second thing the Lord said is mainstream headlines. There's going to be record breaking news, headline news. And then the Lord showed me news channels and newspapers. CNN, Fox News. And he said, there's going to be headline news that's going to make mouths drop. That's going to make jaws drop. We already know Hurricane Ian in Florida. And praise God, it went from category four to category one. But this was the most destructive, powerful hurricane that Florida has experienced in 100 years. 100 years. And of course, there's a mixture of things because whenever there is something in the natural, it is a manifestation of the supernatural. And of course, isn't it incredible? As I was talking about off the charts record break, poof, the airplanes just flew over and y'all heard that sonic boom. But whenever there's something happening in the natural, there's something happening in the supernatural. But it was record-breaking hurricane from the last hundred years. So why am I saying this? Because there's something supernatural happening across the earth. I feel the Holy Ghost so strong today, people of God. I feel the Lord so strong. Jesus. And by the way, today is Friday. So Shabbat Shalom. Amen. It's the first Shabbat. 5783. So God bless you abundantly. Help us to break the 300 and the 350 number, people of God. Jesus. So the second thing the Lord showed me, amen, was mainstream news. Jaws dropping, mouths dropping. Things are going to happen this month of October that's going to shock the world. Hear me now. October will be a shocktober. Not a shacktober. October will be a shocktober. God is going to shock your enemies. God is going to shock the news, the headlines. God is going to shock you. Come on. Because the devil tried to destroy your house, your family, your finances. But this month of October, you're going to shock the world because of the breakthrough and the grace and the comeback. October will be a shocktober. 
in Jesus' name. And listen, of course, October is, has a month of Halloween, but I saw in the spirit, I saw that God is going to shock these witches, these cabal occultists. God is going to shock the world in this month of October. So I want to say amen. All right, number three. My goodness, everybody pray for the connection. The third thing that the Lord showed me for this month of off the charts October. Number three is unusual manifestations. This month of October, there will be unusual things happening in your life. Unusual, okay? There's going to be some unusual attacks of the devil. The enemy is going to try to sideswipe you, creep in, catch you off guard. The devil is going to just try to do little things. You know, your car gets damaged, your car. No, you know, and I'm not prophesying that. Absolutely not. But I'm giving examples of different little things that the devil's going to try to do. And it's just a common scheme of the enemy. But this month of October, there's going to be unusual manifestations unusual but at the same time god is going to release unusual suddenlies sudden promotion unusual money miracles unusual resurrection power unusual healings amen i feel the power of god so strong on this broadcast today my goodness someone say unusual so there's going to be some unusual things happening this month that's going to shock the world. Someone say amen. And the fourth thing we need to pray for. Okay, these are my these are my prayer points, not my prophetic points, okay? I'm starting off with prayer points that the Lord showed me. The, the fourth thing we need to pray for is weather and crops. Weather and crops. Shatata. Weather and crop, because I saw, I I literally saw, I, I saw fields of agriculture and crops go empty. I saw famine. And I'm not talking about famine as in extreme weather. I'm talking about famine as in a lack of agriculture. A lack of harvest, a lack of crops, a lack of food. So the Lord showed me, of course, the weather. And I've been prophesying about the weather. I've been prophesying, talking about the floods. I mean, I mean, who's been following me, right? I mean, the Lord showed me the very clear vision of nations, regions under floods. So I've been talking about floods. And I've been talking about, I've been talking about, these things and places being swept underwater. But I saw literal famine, fields being emptied out, and there being a lack and shortage of food. So we need to pray for that. All right. And the fifth thing, the fifth prophetic, the fifth prayer point before I move on to the month of Tishrei. My guys, I feel the Lord. The fifth is. Pray, pray for the government and business sector. The government and business sector. Government is always in bed with business. Okay, government, the Fed, they, they print money, etc., etc. But this month in October, I sense such a strong urgency because of the midterms. And the Lord said, October to November, be prayerful. October to November, be prayerful. Because up to Hanukkah, say Hanukkah, up to Hanukkah, from October to November, up to Hanukkah, we need to be prayerful and watchful. Amen. So pray for the government. Pray for the midterms. And pray for a sweepstake of the glory of God. Someone say amen. But right now, we are in the 10 days of awe. My goodness, I feel the Lord. Moscada brata, help us to break the 400 mark today, people of God. I know we will. But Lord, I thank you, Jesus. Every single person who agrees with these prayer points right now, 
Lift up your hands and pray in the Holy Ghost. Hit a blow, Catera Brosca Tash, Canabronga, Tere Brosca Ta. Hit a blow, Tatera Broca Ta. I'm telling you, I'm about to go into the word of the Lord. I'm about to go into the word of the month. I haven't even thousands to introduction. Monde Kera Broca Tabasca, Tere Dosca Ta, Roco. Mandere Dosca Tera. For the Lord says, I'm preparing the way of the Lord. I am preparing the way of the Lord, even as the Red Sea was parted in two, and Israel walked on dry ground. I am splitting the sea, and I'm preparing the way of the Lord, says God. For you will walk through the waters, and you will not be taken over. You will walk through the fire, and you will not be quenched. For you are walking out and walking through, says God. Somebody say, I'm walking through. Somebody say, I'm walking out. And when they left Egypt, they walked out with seven times plunder. This is a season of the walking out and the walking through with the seven times plunder. If you believe it, clap your hands. If you, if you believe it, shout hallelujah and give us some hearts and likes. Praise the Lord. My goodness, I feel the glory of God. And it's so unusual because I'm here. And the air show in Huntington Beach is going off and it just sounds like the roars of heaven. Rosh Hashanah, the Feast of Trumpets. Sounds like the roars, the sonic boom, prophetic proclamation of the Lion of the tribe of Judah. Someone say amen. Here it comes again. Someone say glory, hallelujah. So th that's my introduction. That's my introduction. And that is the prayer points the Lord has shown me. And I'm, I'm going to go to three prophetic points in a few minutes. But like I said, right now, we are in the 10 days of all. And Wednesday, it is Yom Kippur. Wednesday, October 5th. It is Yom Kippur. And this month in Hebrew, in the Hebrew calendar, it is Tishrei. Everybody say Tishrei. And the Lord said, Tishrei, take off. Off the charts, Shocktober. And Tishrei, take off. So this is the first month in the Hebrew calendar. And this is the new year, 5783. And I don't know about you, but I'm feeling, I'm feeling such a shift since we stepped into the new year. And we're going to get into why that is so. But in this month of Tishrei, there are the fall feasts, the fall biblical feasts. And in this month of Tishrei, of course, right now, this month, right here, right now, we are celebrating the 10 days of all. And then Wednesday will be Yom Kippur, which is the holiest day of the year. I don't know if y'all hear that. That's powerful. Yom Kippur, the holiest day of the year. And then one week after is Sukkot. Someone say Sukkah. And what is a Sukkah? A Sukkah is a tabernacle. So we're about to, we just finished the Feast of Trumpets. We are about to step into Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement, into the Holy of Holies, the Day of Judgment. Amen. And then one week later, we're stepping into the Feast of Tabernacles. Amen. And Sukkah or Sukkot means tabernacles. It means the tent of God. Someone say, preach, Pastor Ben. So this Tishrei month is a month of tabernacles. This is the month where you are going in to the room and the womb of prayer. And the Father is drawing you in and he's bringing you in to his presence. So this month, literally in, in two weeks, we're going to step into Sukkot, which is the Feast of Tabernacles. And the key verse I want to give you today, the key verse. Glory, hallelujah. Some say preach, Pastor Ben. I feel the preach come up. First, I was prophesying and revelating. Now I feel the preach come forth. The key verse I want to talk to you today is in John 1, 14. Amen. The word became flesh 
Amen. And dwelt among us. That word dwell means tabernacle. John 1, 14. The word became flesh. And dwelt tabernacled among us. And we have seen his glory. My goodness. The glory as the only son from the father. Abounding in grace and truth. Help me to break the 400 number today, people of God. Amen. Thank you so much. Tag somebody, share this on your wall. The word became flesh and tabernacle dwelt, lived among us. And we have seen his glory as his only son from the father, abounding in grace and truth. Another verse here, Deuteronomy 16, 13. You shall celebrate the feast of booths, B-O-O-T-H-S, booths, or tabernacles, tents. You shall celebrate the feast of booths seven days after you have gathered from your threshing floor and wine vat. Whew. From your threshing floor and wine vat. Come on, I feel the glory, the oil on that. Ruska The feast of booths, Exodus 23, 16. You shall observe the feast of harvest of the first fruit of your labors. From what you sow in the field, also the feast of the ingathering at the end of the year when you gather the fruit of your labors. So this is the Feast of Booths or the Feast of Tabernacles. So why is this important? Because this signifies a tabernacling anointing. Yes, this means that Jesus Yeshua tabernacled, became a man. He became flesh. He put on flesh. He dwelled amongst us. But this also stands for when the Israelites left Egypt. Someone say, I'm leaving Egypt. When the Israelites left Egypt, they dwelled in booths, in tabernacles. I'm telling you right now, this month of October of Tishrei, this is a month where you have left Egypt, which is the old year. You have left the old year of Egypt. And now you're tabernacling. So many of you feel like you're in the wilderness. You feel like you're wandering again because you're in the middle of transition. So many of you have just left Egypt of the old year 5782. And as you've crossed over, transitioned over, passed over, now you're back in tabernacles and you're dwelling in the abode, in the covering of God. You don't necessarily know where you're going, but you know you're going forward. You don't necessarily know what's happening, but you know that Jesus is with you. You don't necessarily know or fully understand what's going on because you are you feel like you're in an unknown place, but the Father of Lights is leading you. The Shepherd of Life is leading you. He's instructing you and He's tabernacling you, covering you. He is hovering over you as a Spirit of God hovers over the waters to blow, to breathe, to Ruach Kodesh, to birth. Come on, somebody. Ruka as the Spirit of the Lord is hovering over the waters. So God is also hovering over you and he's covering you in tabernacles. So what does a tabernacle stand for? It stands for a covering. It stands for a mantle. It stands for a tent. And a tent is mobile. A tent is mobile. Someone say amen. It's like a mobile home. It's mobile. You pick up and you settle. You pick up and you settle every day. You pick up, you settle. You pick up and you settle. So this tabernacle is a walking tabernacle. Somebody say, I am a tabernacle. I said, you are a tabernacle. You are the tabernacle of the Lord. My goodness. You are the tabernacle of the Lord. So in this month, you are going to tabernacle with God. So I want to give you three prophetic points that you can expect for this month of October, this month of Tishrei. Someone say amen. If you're with me, say amen. Give us some hearts and likes. Share this on your wall. Help me to break the 400 number right now. Amen. Glory be to God. I'm going to break the 400 number of people of God. This will be a Tishrei of takeoff. So I'm going to give you three prophetic points that you can expect in this month. And if you're with me, say amen. If you're receiving, say hallelujah. 
By the way, we we are in. We are in right now. We are in great shifting because the books are opened. The books are opened. And we are in the 10 days of awe currently. And God's going to leave you in awe with off the chart record breaking headlines this month of October. If you believe it, say amen. So as we are in the 10 days of awe and we're about to shift into the Feast of Tabernacles, Sukkot, the books are opened and the Lord is judging, testing, watching, examining before Yom Kippur, before the books are closed. And that's why we are seeing so much happen on the earth right now because the books are open. What does that mean? That means destinies are up for grabs. Mantles are up for grabs. Things are on the table and you can go reach out and grab it right now. So things are shifting, amen? So I want to release three prophetic points that is happening this month and that you can expect because it's already happening with you. Number one, this month of October or in a Hebrew month called Tishrei. This is a month of testing. Someone say testing. My goodness, I feel a preach in my spirit. This is a month of testing. This month of October Tishrei, God's going to test you. The enemy, the world is going to try to test you. You're going to feel tested and go through the refiner's fire and be purged to let go, to die to self. Why? Because we're in the 10 days of all, which is a new year. It's the beginning. We are in the new Hebrew year. So as we're starting off this new year in reverence and in fear and awareness of God, he's saying, Go humble, go low, be humble, go low, be broken, be contrite, fast, pray, seek the face of God, repent, turn away from things, turn away from the old, you're stepping into the new, release forgiveness. So there is a testing of our soul, a testing of our hearts. Some say test. So the first prophetic point I'm releasing in this month that the Lord shared is that this is a month of testing, Tishrei testing. Have you been experiencing some testing? And what does testing mean? The Lord showed me a vision and he showed me the waters raging. He showed me the waters tossing and turning, just like the storms, just like the raging waters. And he showed me a vision. Look at that. There's the airplanes again. He showed me a vision of the waters tossing and turning and raging. And even as the waters toss and turned, the Lord said, many of you are experiencing waters, toss and turn, which means testing. Many of you are experiencing testing over the waters of your heart, the waters of your soul, of your body. Hallelujah. But I declare and I decree, you're going to pass the test. You are going to pass the test of this month. Amen. I said, you are going to pass the test of this month. This month, you will pass the test of Tishrei. Someone say, amen. Jesus. You will be anchored. You will be rooted. You will not be swept away. You will not be swept into deception. Hear me now. You will not be swept into deception, into loneliness, into anger. This is a season where a lot of people start feeling depressed and alone. The end of the year season in, in the Gregorian calendar, Christmas time. A lot of people feel lonely. They feel alone. They feel depressed. They feel Oprah. I'll break that off in Jesus' name. Who's got time? But the Lord is testing you. And you are going to pass the test. Amen. I prophesy. I said you, you. Someone say me. You are going to pass the test. And you're going to go through and cross through 
the tossing of the waters this month. In Jesus' name, someone say amen. I declare and I decree this month of October, you are not going to fall for evil, demonic, seducing, lying spirits. You're not going to be touched by oppressive witchcraft spirits. We just broke 400. God bless you. Praise God. You are going to pass the test this month of October of Tishrei. In Jesus' name. Someone say amen. The second prophetic point I want to release over you. In midst of the testing. And it's so funny. I'm, I'm talking about Tishrei takeoff. Because the Lord said Tishrei, this month of October in the Hebrew is Tishrei. You will take off. You're going to take off. You're going to launch. And here I'm hearing all these airplanes just soar around me. It's hilarious. But the second prophetic point for this month is take off. You're going to take off. I said, you're going to take off. Not only will you break records, not only will you be off the charts, but you're going to take off. Someone say, take off. And what does that mean? The Lord said, launch and birthing of many new things. This month, hear me now, hear the word of the Lord. As you're going through the testing, you can either fall back or fall forward. You can either go back to the same ritualistic, traditional thing, or you can go into prayer and begin to re-strategize and rebirth because the tabernacle is the womb of intimacy, the room of prayer. So this month, you can either go back or take off. And I want to say there's no turning back. No turning back. This is a month of Tishrei takeoff, which means there's going to be a launching and a birthing of many new things. I'm telling you, take off. Someone say take off. Your finances will take off. Your dreams, your vision. This month, there's going to be visions and visitations of God. Dreams. Shikarabrata. You're going to take off destinies, nations, organizations. Things are going to be birthed this month. But you need to hear the word of the Lord and tabernacle with God. And go to that place of prayer and intimacy. Because God is drawing us near. Draw near to God as He draws near to you. So this is the month of drawing near and being covered within the tabernacle, the abode, the glory of God. Like this week, I was supposed to be in Albuquerque today. But it got canceled. Forget about it. It got canceled. The doors did not open this week. So I said, you know what? I'd rather be home. Because I sense the Lord is bringing me deeper into prayer. Amen. So this month, things are going to take off. Why? Because even as we are in the 10 days of awe, and when Yom Kippur, the books are closed, things are now sealed, instructions, revelations, come on somebody, are given and released. And now you receive your marching orders to go forward. Somebody say, I'm marching forward. So this month, you're going to take off. If you believe that, say amen. If you receive that, say hallelujah. And the third prophetic point I want to release is transfiguration. This month, expect testing. And remember, testing is not always a bad thing. Testing is a God thing. Because we need to be tested in our faith. We need to be challenged. We need to be provoked. We need to be invoked. We need to grow. So the three prophetic points in this month of Tishrei or Shocktober, off the charts, October, number one is testing. This is the month of the raging of the waters, the tossing and the turning of the sea and testing. God is testing our heart. Will you forgive? Will you go low? Will you humble yourself? Will you purify yourself? Will you go into the place of prayer? Will you sow the seed you don't want to sow? Will you bless your enemies? Amen. Will you be the bigger person? Will you walk the higher road, the never road? Number one, testing. Number two, take off. Things are going to be birthed, launched, released this month of October. Take off. And number three, transfiguration. Now, transfiguration is more than transformation. Because you can transform something, meaning change 
the form of something, or transfigure means to be born again. This is your born again month. And in fact, my goodness, I gave my life to Jesus on this month of October. I gave my life to Jesus on October 31st, 2009, in Australia, Newcastle, Australia, with YWAM. <laughs> my goodness. Whew. I want to tell you, some of the biggest transitions of my life have happened this month. Because it's the month of takeoff. It's the month of transfiguration. I gave my life to Jesus October 31st, 2009. Jesus, 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 there is something about that name, Master, Savior, Jesus. I gave my life to the Lord this month of October, 2009. My goodness. So this month is a month of transfiguration. Transfiguration. What does that mean? It is a born again month. You are about to be born again this month. And some of you are saying, well, Pastor Ben, that doesn't make sense. I gave my life to Jesus 1500 years ago. I gave my life to Jesus 30, 40, 50 years ago during the Jesus people movement. <laughs> but every day, I believe every day you can be born again every day and i believe this month is a month of being born again you're gonna evolve like the butterfly was born again from the cocoon you are going to be transfigured evolve not just change in form because you see i dyed my hair or i cut my hair so my hair changed in form but transfiguration isn't changing in form. It is being born again completely, being totally 100% different. <laughs> so this month of tabernacles, Jesus, my goodness, the Lord is drawing you deep in Him, in prayer, consecration, separation, sanctification hallelujah the lord is bringing us in to the womb of the tabernacle the holy of holies so that you will be born again and i, I need you to hear this people of god please hear this this is so important some are going to go back to the old like a dog to its vomit but it, he, she who has ears to hear this month, there is the opportune window. The books are open. There is the grace for you to take off and be transfigured this month. Where everything in your life will change for the better in Jesus' name. It will change. Someone say transfiguration. Get ready for Sukkot. Get ready for Sukkot. Get ready for tabernacles. Who's ready to tabernacle with the Lord? Who's ready to tabernacle with God this month? Tishrei of tabernacles. Tishrei of takeoff. Tishrei of transfiguration. I want you to lift up your hands and just pray in the Holy Ghost wherever you're watching from. There is a prayer mantle coming over many of you right now. The gift of prayer is coming over many of you right now. Thank you, Lord. Prayer births revival. So there is a revival being released in this season of the fall feast right now. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Manda de dosa carabranga de brusca tabasca de dosa ta. 
Roska tara de doshka tara de dosa tara de doshka tara. I just heard of my spirit, the Lord say, Open the floodgates, open the floodgates of heaven, let it rain. Get ready for the rain, get ready for the floodgates to be opened. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Zavakashko tosata. There's going to be floodgates opening this month. Which is so interesting because the Lord showed me scarcity of food. But there's going to be a floodgate this month. Floodgates are going to open this month. My goodness. If you receive that same and lift up your hands right now. Father, I speak to your people as a man of God. I ask you, Abba that you would release the power of God. Release transfiguration, power over your children. Come on, give me some hearts and likes. Share this on your wall right now. My goodness, that's right. Esther King, God bless you over your life. This month will be off the charts. Amen, prophetess Ivana. Shaniqua, God bless you. Hello there, Chris, Christian Mirage, Keith Walker. Come on, come on, come on. Zabaka over Marjorie's life. A prayer mantle is being released over you. Child the Most High, God bless you. Shalablonda Kerabroskata, Kashika Anthony. Mondarada, Melissa Tober, Glory, Mumu Aveler. Mandiruska, that the floodgates are opening, people of God. Financial floodgates are opening in your life. Shri, Shri Jana Bomjan, God bless you. Glory be to Georgia Sias, Sophia Samuel, Monica S. Benjamin. Comment below the country you're watching from or the city. El Mari de Toi, so that we can release the declaration of the floodgates being opened. Hallelujah. This is the month of the floodgates being opened. And the Lord showed me a vision, but He's not letting me share it. But I'm going to release it on Monday during our prophetic convergence. Because the Lord showed me I guess I am going to share it briefly. The Lord showed me an octopus. This month, the enemy is going to try to release the octopus spirit from the depths of the waters. Now, I'm going to go deeper into that on Monday. But last night, I could not sleep last night. And I knew the Lord wanted to speak to me. So he showed me a vision of an octopus. My goodness. Y'all aren't ready for this. So I'm going to share more about that on Monday for a prophetic convergence broadcast. Amen. High Springs, Florida. God bless you. Antipolo, Filipinas. Thank you. Durban, South Africa. South Africa, God bless you. What is that flag? Is that France? Patricia? South Africa, God bless you. I love my South Africa friends, family. God bless you, friends. Glory be to God. Johannesburg, South Africa. Thank you, Kashika. Lagos, Nigeria. God bless you. Hallelujah. Manderuskata. Amen, Didi. Suriname. God bless you. Wow. First time from Suriname. God bless you. Brits, South Africa. Red Deer County, Alberta. Amen. I can't wait. I just got approved. To come, oh, I just got invited to come to Vancouver, Canada in January. Amen. God bless you, Dolores. Rustenburg. Cameroon. Wow, we have many different countries today. Cameroon, I think, is new as well, including Suriname. Thank you, Heidi. Thank you, Father. Amen. Me too, Madeline Jacobs. Thank you, Lord. Fiji Islands in the house. God bless you. I'm going to Samoa. We're doing a crusade in Samoa in the month of July. 
Watching from UK, God bless you, thank you. From Taiwan, I would love to come to Taiwan. I'm, pre I'm planning my Asia tour, Singapore, Malaysia, and maybe even Burma and Indonesia for next year. I'm planning that. Dr. Angela Campbell, God bless you, South Carolina. Trinidad, Tobago, amen. I would love to come to Trinidad, Tobago as well. Hallelujah. Zeba Karabroskata. Thank you, Lord. South Africa, God bless you. Thank you, Lord. Now, I want everybody to lift up your hands right now. This month, things will be off the charts. Record-breaking headline news. Thank you, Father. I pray right now for the power and the fire of God. Touch your people, Lord. Touch your people. If you believe this month, Tishrei, October, is a month of tabernacling, takeoff, testing, and transfiguration, say amen. Marisol Farias, I will be in Tijuana, Mexico in a few weeks' time. Amen. Sala, we got Fiji Islands in the house. Look at that. We have many nations, many different nations represented today. God bless you, Doris. First time from Lagos. I've never been to Nigeria yet. Now lift up your hands. Lord, I thank you for the power of God. Bless your people. Bless your people. This month, October, will be a month of Shocktober. You will be shocked this month as the Lord brings you deep and in to his bosom of prayer. I'm telling you, prayer mantles are being released. And this month, there is a propensity, a, a possible propensity for prayer movements to be birthed this month. If you are an intercessor, prayer warrior, I want you to comment me or I am. Oh, thank you, Sandra. You're going to go to Vancouver to see us. God bless you, sister. That's pretty far, isn't it? From Alberta. To, oh, it's a flight, I guess. But this month, there is a release of prayer mantles of intercession. Amen. So this month of October, raise up the wall of prayer. Raise up because there's going to be a lot of witches and warlocks and evil people even influencing our children to do seances this month, especially this month. Because again, the devil always has a counterfeit. The reason why there's Halloween and Hindu festivals and Buddhist festivals this month and Islamic festivals this month is because that is the counterfeit of spirit-filled Christian believers. Because the, the real originality, the real origin, the real, <clears throat> the real portal purpose of this month is Tishrei, Tabernacles. The 10 days of all. But of course the devil tries to pervert it and release his counterfeits. So raise up a wall of prayer. Raise up a wall of prayer. A wall of fiery prayer in Jesus' name. I declare right now a wall of fiery prayer is being raised up and released all around you. Burn every witchcraft. Burn every Christian witchcraft. I release fire on every hex, vex, spell, every voodoo, incantation, soothsaying, manipulation, spirit of deception, death, infirmity. I release fire. Someone say fire. I release the fire of God upon every Santaria, upon every mixed spirit, upon every foul, demonic spirit of death. I release the fire of God. I release the fire of God. 
fire, fire, fire on every Jezebelic slandering swamp thing. I release the fire on every Leviathan Python demon. I release the fire on every familiar spirit, every monitoring spirit. I release the fire of God. Hit a brook. I release the fire. Someone say fire, fire, fire. It's the fire for no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Hallelujah. No weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. And I want to speak of divine covering and protection over you and your family this month. Come on. Fire, fire, fire. Divine covering, protection over you and your family, your health, your wealth, your possessions, your homes, your cars, your belongings. Come on. I destroy accidents. I destroy demonic seances. I destroy now by fire. And I declare right now, hear me now, as a man of God, I prophesy, hear me, these witchcraft movies, Harry Potter, these Halloween movies and shows are going to be stopped and canceled this month in Jesus' mighty name. I prophesy right now. And these workers of terrors and these demonic workers hiding behind masks, hiding behind costumes, be exposed now. Be filled with the terror and fear of God now. These workers of iniquity, these workers of injustice, these workers of evil that are hiding behind Antifa masks, be exposed now. For the fear and the terror of God will fall upon you. Amen. For I saw right now in the spirit, I saw people during Halloween time, trying to release terror and havoc and destruction and vandalism in cities. But we rebuke that and we cancel it now in Jesus' name. Let his enemies be scattered. Let his enemies be scattered. Someone say hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Let his enemies be scattered in Jesus' name. I want you to give the Lord a clap because I just feel so much breakthrough. The presence of God is so strong and heavy. Amen. Who here is in the glory of God right now? My goodness. Jesus, Jesus. Yes, people of God, raise up a prayer wall. Because the Lord just prophesied through me. Hear me now. And I believe, wow. I believe we're going to see this with the movie charts. I believe. Two things we're going to see this month. All right. And as I was prophesying in the Lord, the Lord just uttered this mystery. Number one. I believe, number one, we are going to see ratings of these movies of Halloween drop. Number one. And different shows and movies are going to be canceled. That's concerning witchcraft and Halloween. Because there is an awakening of parents and conservatism in America. Number one. Number two. As a wall of prayer and a fire is raised up. There's going to be many witches. That are going to be saved in the fear of God. I suffer not a witch to live. I suffer not a Christian witch to live. This month, many witches, people that are involved in seances, witchcraft, voodoo, many of these people are going to repent and come to Jesus. Because Jesus is the king. Jesus is the Messiah. Jesus has the power to throw you in hell or to bring you up into heaven. Jesus. Someone say amen. My goodness, give the Lord a clap, people of God. I feel the power of God so strong right now. You can see the fire in my eyes right now. The fire in my eyes. Shoo. It's that Dr. Ronnie Howard Brown eyes. And no, he doesn't have Asian eyes. But it's fire in the eyes. Amen. 
someone say fire. All right, people, God bless you. Thanks so much for watching today. I hope you're blessed. Did you receive today? Did you receive today? Amen. Listen, people of God, I want to encourage you. Uh, Monday, 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 we have our next webinar. It's a free Zoom webinar on Monday. Did you receive the word of the prophet? Did you receive the word of the Lord? Amen. So give us some hearts and likes. Share this on your wall. But Monday... We have our next free Zoom webinar called Times and Seasons. I want to talk about the patterns and cycles of God and how you can disrupt the pattern and start a new cycle with Jesus. And we're going to talk about appointed times and Kairos moments. It's going to be powerful. It's a free Zoom webinar. If you want to grow in the Iskar anointing and understand times and seasons with God, I invite you to join us. It is a free Zoom webinar this Monday. 7 p.m. Pacific Standard. Amen. This Monday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard. And I also want to invite you to give this page a like. Okay, I'm on Facebook, of course, here. Uh, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Ben Lim or Ben Lim Global. Please, hallelujah, my goodness. I just received a new strategy, but please go ahead and... Uh, give this page a like, a follow, subscribe. And uh, I come on sporadically throughout the week, multiple times, releasing prophetic revelation words, rhema from the mouth of God. And ha do you enjoy our teachings? Do you enjoy, appreciate the grace that is on this ministry? Amen. By the grace of God, here we are. And it is our job, our duty, our moral responsibility to release the unperverted, undiluted, the uncompromised prophetic word of the Lord to the nations, to you. Amen. So give this page a like, a follow. And uh, follow me on different platforms, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok. Soon I will make my own Twitter. Amen. And our own Discord as well. Praise God. And as well, people of God, as we're about to close today, I want to invite you. Because I do, I am in the middle of building with my friends this company called Glory Coalition. And we're building a group, a community of like-minded people who want to grow more in cryptocurrency. Who want to be involved in Web3 and the metaverse. So we are in the process of creating this community, this hub of Web3 technology amongst Christians. It's called GLOCO or Glory Coalition. So if you want to grow in Web3, cryptocurrency, NFTs, the metaverse, VR, AI, if you want to grow and be more prepared unto the future, I want to invite you. It's totally free. But just join, join this group because we are futurists. We're moving into the future from the future. So if you're interested in learning more about, uh, you know, this Web3 space, then join this group called Glory Coalition. We have a Facebook group and that Facebook group will be a blessing to you. Amen. Because we are in the process of creating our own coin, our own metaverse. Yes, it's a two to three year process, but we are in the beginnings of the roadmap. Amen. So go ahead and join us there too, if you're interested. Amen. Because cryptocurrency is the future. Even Joe Biden is trying to remove the U.S. currency and go into cryptocurrency as a national monetary system, currency system. Amen. But I'm so excited for what God is doing on the earth. This month, October, will be a month of shocktober. It will be a month of off the charts. It will be a month where everything in your life is going to change. Transfiguration and the tabernacle glory of God. Amen. Yes, Ms. Dolores just pinned to the comment group. Hallelujah. Happy New Year. Happy 
new year. Five, seven, eight, your Lashana Toba, Haksameyak. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus. If you receive today, say amen. If you, my goodness, I want you to comment below what encouraged you the most today. What word is yours today? What word did you take possession of? Did you take ownership of today? Comment below. I, I want to read some of your thoughts and feedback. What was highlighted to you? And by the way, please do share this on your wall. If you're blessed by this, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Intercession. Prayer mantle. Transfiguration. Womb of the tabernacle. Amen. Mantle of intercession. Coming trials this month. Jesus. Prophet Ivana, you summed up everything I've been experiencing. Yes. Going into the womb of God in prayer and transfigure mantle of prayer and intercession. Glory be to God. Time to take off. This is my word. I take it. Jesus. Tabernacle with God intercession. There is something. Amen. I'm jumping in the spirit. Total ownership. God is working. Born again. Transfiguration. Prayer mantle and intercession. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Open doors. Take off. Hallelujah. October of wow. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Well, people of God, God bless you. And love you. Get ready for a shocktober. Off the charts. Take off Tishrei October. God bless you friends. Thank you for sharing. Share this on your wall. Lashana Tova.